before I get started in this video and show you some of the tips I'm about to show you, um, don't forget to head over to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash piranha. We do live stream every single day at 5 p.m. EST or 9 p.m. GMT. Come over and say hi. So Tarkov traders have decided to leave our presence, which kind of means that we aren't going to have any ammo or gear for a while. Now, of course, you got yourselves your wonderful scav runs. This is just basically going to be showing you a few port of calls and a way of getting yourself some decent gear. So, of course, one of the best ways is actually going to be on reserve and it's going to be inside the bunker. I've done a video on this already. Basically, the scavs, so you've got raiders that spawn on reserve and they spawn every single time that you load into the map so you know when the map first starts there's a chance of raiders spawning inside of the bunker which is below the helicopter as well as when you turn the power on again you have a, i think it's 54 percent chance or 53 percent chance that raiders can spawn as well as glucose and the guards there are quite a few locations around the map where they can spawn as well as when you hit the wonderful big button that turns on the wonderful alarms they also have a chance of spawning over by the K buildings and by the White Castle building, which is also called the uh, train building or the train station. And again, when the train comes in again, there is also another chance of raiders spawning there as well. On top of a few other things, there's this awesome website that is called Map Genie. Now, the reason why I'm going to be showing you Map Genie is the bosses so on here with each of these locations as you can see the skulls these are different locations where glucose can spawn as well as over on factory you know all the boss location was well, just one location but let's say um on customs you want to get yourself your your rochella kills because obviously his guards has got guns as well another great race shoreline you know you got senator he's only got two guards but they do carry some pretty decent stuff which is up at resort the cottages and down at the pier and of course lighthouse now lighthouse is going to be another great way of actually getting gear so you've got the rogues that spawn around in the actual water treatment plant and down here by the mg gunners realistically these ones down here and the ones that patrol um the was it two and three um the water treatment buildings they're going to be the ones that you're going to be able to grab because the ones up top you can't actually get their gear so you're basically stuck with that and of course labs got a labs key card go pop in there i mean watch yourself because of, you know the uh, wonderful hackermans but you know you do get raiders every single time you turn on an extract inside of labs as well also a great thing about this website too let's say you're not someone who is good enough to actually you know kill geared people or whatever on the left hand side you can turn on the ammo boxes so you can see where all the loose ammo spawns are dotted around the map as well as crates that are dotted around and you know weapon boxes which is really the one that you're going to want so all of these weapon boxes has a chance of spawning um guns armors all that kind of stuff and then like in customs you got actual hard spawns for armors I mean, they're not really that great. They're all just packers and all the wonderful stuff like that. But if you like add everything up, so you've got your weapon box, weapon mods, and then ammo box, and then there's also nade boxes. If I can find it. There we go, grenade boxes. So you can actually see that there is an awful lot of spawns for guns that are dotted around the map inside of Tarkov. So this right here, in my opinion, is a really great way to actually get yourself some guns and some ammunition whilst there really isn't much going on in Tarkov this week. So good luck. And also, I would recommend if you do your scav runs on reserve, so you and everyone else is going to be hitting up reserve for your scav runs. And I'll be honest with you, you're going to need to watch yourself. There will be scav and scav violence, you know, desperation and all that wonderful stuff. So you are going to basically need to watch yourself during this time because, you know, people are going to try and kill you and there's, there's no way around it. It's rough times. You've got to watch out for those good old extract campers as well and all the other wonderful things. And because you don't actually have any sort of traders, you don't have insurance or anything along the lines of that. So you do basically need to watch yourself. Also, I'll give you a good old little tip. Run your guns on single fire and put ammo up in your gamma container, whatever container you got. 
So what I actually do is I run two magazines no matter what I have. Um, I try to run two 20 rounders if I can because if I got myself some decent ammo, let's say BP or whatever, if I die, I'm only losing, you know, 40 BP compared to if I'm running 230s, which is 60 BP. Or if you're running more than 230s, then, well, you're just racing ammo at that point. In my opinion, you just need one shot to get that one kill. Go for the head and you're sorted. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash TV. Especially Beansy, Freddy, and Justin ASDF. 